Now, it's been quite a week for the royal family, with multiple members of the household making headlines, and not all of them nice. It was announced on Tuesday, for instance, that Prince Andrew, the Duke of York, had reached an out-of-court settlement with his sexual assault accuser, Virginia Giffray. And then on Wednesday, the Met Police launched a Cash for Honours probe into Prince Charles's foundation, following claims that a close aide offered to help a Saudi billionaire get a knighthood. Then on Friday, Prince Harry began his legal battle at the High Court over his right to pay for police protection when his family is here in the UK. All of this, of course, in the Queen's Platinum Jubilee year. Shall we pick through this with Grant Harold, who's a former royal butler to Prince Charles, Prince William and Prince Harry. It's lovely to see you this morning. Hi. What do you make of this? It feels like there's a whole campaign almost against the royal family. It does feel like that. And I think, as you said, the, the worst part of this, it's, it's the Platinum Jubilee year. So it's the one time when you don't want all this mm. kind of coming out. But it's literally one thing after another. And you couldn't get... It's extraordinary. It's just that really bad timing. But I suppose that's how things, how things can plan out. I mean, in terms of, of the worst of all of these headlines, it's got to be Prince Andrew, mm, hasn't yes, it? Because, yeah. I mean, that... And, and what, whatever has, they've decided to do, the idea of handing over money mm. does suggest that, well, we're, that we're not getting the whole truth, doesn't it? I think this is... The, the thing that I was kind of saying was that, as the Queen always has said, I think, in her views, is that you're always innocent until proven guilty. So even though there could be evidence and all the rest of it, I said, at least when they have the court case... That gets it all... Different. And that's what he said, isn't it? Exactly. That's why he, he said, said he welcomed a court exactly. case. Exactly. Mm. And now this has taken place. A lot of people have said to me, does that not mean he's guilty? Well, it doesn't mean he's guilty, but it doesn't mean he's is it innocent. Mm. So how do you go forward after that? That's the other thing people say. How does he carry on? So is, is, in, in terms of his public life, mm. I mean, that's it. It's over, isn't it? It is over, but he's still councillor, a state councillor, which is the... So, basically, the Queen has... If, if for some reason the Queen's unable to carry out duties, due to ill health or being in another country, there's set members of the royal family, including Prince Andrew, that act as, as state councillors, uh, including Prince Harry, actually, as well. And so he's still down as one of those. So, But I, I don't really see him returning back to normal full-time duty. Well, as far as the gossip goes, and I, I, how can we possibly know? Maybe you do. <laughs> Prince Charles and Prince uh, William have, uh, have talked this through, have discussed it probably with the Queen as well, and they've decided that whatever his position, he will not be... Mm. They will not be relying on him for anything. I think the thing is they have said they're going to slim down the monarchy. And this is a reality. You can see that's what's happening yeah. going forward. And I pray the Queen's around for many more years yet, but they're obviously planning this out. And the slim down monarchy, I think, will be Prince Charles, um, the future Queen Consort, and Duchess of Cornwall, Prince William and his family. And I think that going forward, that will be it. Um, I think, you know, people said with Princess Anne, I think she will continue, but it wouldn't surprise me if we just see them doing, especially after the Queen's gone, just, I think there'll be a lot of changes. And that's why you don't need, with the, the negative things that are going on just now, these are things that, because public opinion can easily change with monarchy, as we've seen in the past. But, I mean, the problem is, and it's the way with a lot of life, it's the negative stuff that makes the, you know, that makes mm -hmm. the fuss. Um, I mean, Princess Anne is one of the hardest-working royals, isn't mm -hmm. she? She is. In fact, when you look at the engagement she carries out, she's one of the top for carrying out engagements. She's a, a very much a hard-working royal. I, I actually enjoyed um, kind of when I got to spend time with her or speaking to her. I thought she's amazing. She's very. She's, she says it as it is. Mm -hmm. You know, she gets the job done. I suppose a bit like her late father, um, but she's a very she's a hard working royal, and she didn't accept royal titles for her children. She didn't. So she she's didn't. done things her own way. But if you look at Prince Charles, I mean this so-called um, cash for honours scandal. I I don't know Prince Charles. You do, but um, I, it would surprise me if he knowingly did anything wrong. I, he doesn't strike me as that sort of person. He, he's not. Now, people have said to me, but he knows everything. And, yes, he's got advisers. There's people that kind of keep him right and tell him things. But it's fair to say, I don't think... There'll be things that he probably doesn't get told. I, I wouldn't rule that out. And so when he says he doesn't... I think I read somewhere he doesn't know everything that goes on. That is possible, because he's got so many other things going on. Yeah. It's possible he doesn't know. And with this, he's kind of caught up in this whirlwind, you know, which is, is unfortunate. But this is the reality. When you've got all these people around you doing things for you, if somebody gets something wrong, you're, the, you the, the cat stops with yeah. you. Yeah, well, what's he like? 
he's fantastic. He's very down to earth. Um, he's got a wonderful way about him. Great humour. He's got a lovely. Really? Yeah. I always say to people, you know, the Queen and the Queen, brilliant senses of humour, and but very hard working. And that's the bit that I find. I think some people think they have got amazing lifestyles. They live in amazing places. But I've seen behind the scenes the, the work that he puts into things. I've seen him when I've gone to bed and he's still working away. You know, he, he's, a very, he's a hard worker and he does it because he believes in it. I mean, you also w worked with, with William and Harry. Can I ask about Harry? I mean, going go to the High Court and all the rest of it. But, I mean, that aside, he was such a popular boy. Mm. And, you know, the, and the work he did in the, in the armed forces was, was really highly regarded. And now he's in this position where people have, have fallen out with him. Mm. What, has, what do you think has gone on there? What do you really think has gone on? Because it, it just seems such a shame. I don't really understand it. I mean, I kept saying to everybody uh, and the media that there couldn't be a fallout because the two of them are so close. I've witnessed the closeness between the two of them and, and also with the, the, the Dutch of Cambridge. And so the whole thing just didn't make sense. And, of course, when we saw the break, this breakdown of this relationship it's now a couple of years ago, mm. uh, and when, it, obviously, the, the kind of statements came out that, you know, they were, they were leaving or breaking away from the royal family, I remember kind of thinking, was well, something obviously really gone wrong? And I still don't really understand it. And I know everyone's kind of blaming different people, but unless you're in there, it's difficult to know who, what has taken place. That's why I'm always kind of trying to be neutral about it. Um, and it's sad because the two of them as brothers are best of friends, absolutely best of friends. And that's what, from my point of view, I think it's really sad because they were close and I'd like to think that going forward that they can, that, that can be healed. It, it's part of the problem. There's, you know, you've got the air and the spare, mm. as, as they put it. I mean, obviously, Prince William's life has got a very clear direction. You know, he can tweak it a little bit, mm. but it's got a, he's got a very clear direction and Harry just didn't. I think that is maybe part of it, because maybe for Prince Harry, it's, it's what do you do? What is a spare? What is the future? I mean, the thing about the, the, the Queen's children, they've all carved their own careers. I mean, I think even with Prince Charles being the longest Prince of Wales in history, yes. he's created this extraordinary role. I mean, th this is the other thing. When the day comes that he becomes king, that job that he's created, obviously Prince William, if he's created Prince of Wales, he doesn't become Prince of Wales automatically. If he's created, then he's then got to kind of take that up yeah. and, and make it his own. So, it, you know, they do have to carve these roles. And it's the same with Prince Harry. I, I think it's amazing that he has started a kind of new life. He's starting all over. I, you know, I would wish him the best of luck. I don't think it's an easy choice he's made. But unfortunately, he's doing things that are making tough headlines for the Queen to read. They are. It must be very are. difficult for her at the moment. I, I do feel for her because, again, she was close to... And hopefully they still are. She was mm. close to Prince Harry. No, she hasn't and even met her granddaughter she yet. She hasn't. She hasn't. And, and all, all of this, I, I really feel for the Queen because, you know, we've seen her the other weekend on, the, obviously, the beginning of the Platinum Jubilee celebrations. She's still got her humour. Yeah. She's Obviously, she hasn't been the best of health in recent months, but she seems to be kind of getting on with it. And I do feel for her with all these royal headlines, all these negative headlines, it's just one thing after another. Does she read mm. the papers? I don't think she does. <laughs> I think she. Right. I, I don't think, think I would anymore I, I don't if think I were she her does. age. I think she's a wise lady. I yeah. think she just keeps keeps. Tell, she probably just yeah. asks. Tell me the worst. Tell me what I need to know and know yeah. more. Yeah, which would be fair enough.